At a regular hourly rate, Don had estimated the labor cost of a repair job at $336, and he was paid that amount. However, the job took four hours longer than he had estimated, and consequently, he earned $2 per hour less than his regular hourly rate. What was the time Don had estimated for the job in hours? So in this video, I'm going to show an algebraic approach to this problem. So R will be his ordinary hourly rate. T will be the number of hours he estimated for the job. So of course, T is the variable that we want to solve for. T is what the question is asking for. As originally planned, he planned to work for T hours at a rate of R and get paid $336. So R times T equals 336. But what actually happened is he worked for longer than that, T plus four, wound up getting paid at a rate R minus two, $2 less than his rate, and this also equals 336. So I'm going to foil out this expression. First, product of the first is R times T. Outer is 4R. Inner is negative 2T. And last is negative 8. And this equals 336. We'll notice that R times T is 336. So R times T is equal to 336. Those two are equal, so I'm just going to subtract them right away and simplify. So we get 4r minus 2t minus 8 equals 0. I'd like to get an equation all in t, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this equation for r, express r in terms of t, and I'm going to plug this in. So this will give me 4 times the expression for r, which is 36 over t, 336 over t, minus 2t minus 8 equals 0. And now, so I don't have a fraction, I'm going to multiply everything by t. So I get 4 times 336 minus 2t squared minus 8t equals 0. So now I have a quadratic. So first of all, I'm going to multiply everything by a negative, and I'm also going to write the terms in order. So I get a 2t squared plus 8t minus 4 times 336 equals 0. I'm also going to divide by 2 to make things a little simpler. t squared plus 4t minus 2 times 336, so that happens to be 672 equals 0. And so now what I want is... A product of, I want two numbers that have a product of negative 672, and when you add them together, you get, you get plus 4. So one of them has to be negative. The larger has to be negative. The smaller has to be positive. And after a little trial and error, what we get is that the numbers are plus 28 minus 24 equals 0. And solving for this, we get t equals negative 28. Of course, that doesn't work. It can't take a negative time. Or t equals 24. That is the only solution that makes sense. And so that is the answer, answer choice B.